A notorious New York gangster, Frankie Yale, had a younger brother who was Angelo, 1903 to 1965. He was a member of the Masseria family in the 20s. He operated out of the family-owned funeral parlor at 6604 14th, Street, 14th Avenue in Brooklyn. They lost the place in 1931. The city refused to renew the license. He generally specialized in car thefts. He ran small rings all around the city. He had arrests for kidnapping and a lot of arrests for felonious assault. He and little Augie Paisano ran a ring, a labor striking goon squad. So if uh, you ran a factory and somebody pulled a strike on you, you called them and they broke it. There were a lot of factories, you know, in New York City at one time. Small factories, but there were a lot of them. In 1930, he was running a wet wash racket. We brought in your clothes. In other words, they ironed these shops. They had ladies in there, a lot of them. And they'd iron your clothes where it was still wet. And it was nice and beautiful when you came and got it. So he cornered the market on that. In one year alone, in relation to that racket, he was arrested for possessing a handgun, uh, stole the truck with $2,200 worth of laundry in it. You know, bear in mind, a shirt in those days was a 10, 15 cents. So 2000 Two hundred dollars worth of laundry, um, felonious assault again. He stabbed three guys. That was all in one year. Um, in almost all of his arrests, by the way, over the years that he was active, two decades, he somehow managed to evade punishment. Almost all of his arrests were dismissed. On November 12, 1930, the Yale funeral parlor was racked by machine gun fire, for reasons unknown by persons unknown. In 1935, finally, he was convicted, federal racketeering charge uh, for counterfeiting, and he got sent away for only two years. In fairness, the case against him was, you know, sketchy. He was released in 1930, he was released, and then in 1936, he threatened to kill his wife. Um, he went back in the can for that for a while. The point, though, after his brother's death in 1928, he fell from power. Uh, it, and he faded for, into the background eventually. Uh, he died of natural causes in 1965 at the relatively young age of, what would that be, 52. So.